Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install WordPress plugins and themes. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these two in this uh, building a website series here. And I'm going to show you how to install your WordPress plugins or themes. If you want to uh, see the other videos in this series, they'll be down in the description box below. So what is a plugin and what is a theme? So a theme is going to be how your site looks. So if we go here uh, under under my WordPress website here, we will see uh, under appearance, there'll be a themes option right there. When you click on that, you'll be then prompted over to the themes panel here where you'll see all of the different themes that you have installed, the ones that came with WordPress when you installed the website on your host uh, or other ones that you've installed. But if you're watching this video, you probably haven't installed any. So basically a theme is how your website looks. Now a plugin is something that does something specific on your website. So like this one here uh, keeps me from getting spam under my comments section. This one here is a comment system. This one here does some stats and whatnot. So your plugins are going to be something that does something specific for your website. So let's go ahead and talk about installing those. So let's go with plugins first. So to install a new plugin, what you'll need to do is first download that plugin. And I'm not going to show you how to do that. That's fairly self-explanatory. Google a plugin you want. Google, you know, top 10 WordPress plugins. There'll be millions of things come up and then download the ones you think you need. Uh, I'll do a video on the ones that I think are necessary, but right now just download that and you'll download it to a zip file. Both the plugin and the theme will be downloaded to a zip file. So as you can see here on my desktop, I have a theme and I have a plugin. All right, now that we have downloaded our theme and plugin, what we're gonna do is under the plugins option, which is right here on the left-hand side of the screen there, you gotta be logged into your admin side of your WordPress site. Go up to add new. It is a gray button here right next to the plugins title and click on add new. Once you've done that, it'll load up and it'll say this here. You can either search plugins and you can download them directly within the WordPress site here. You don't even have to you know, install or download a zip file, uh, but a lot of them are on here, so you're not gonna be able to do it this way. And you can just click on the install now once you've searched for the one that you want. But if you want to upload your own, you just go up here to upload, it'll be right here. If we go back to where we were, it'll be right here, the first one, go to upload, and then once you have done that, you'll see here, it'll say choose a file. So I'm going to choose that file. Now I'm going to choose this video embed plugin that I downloaded off the internet before the video. And then once we have chosen that file, click on the install now option. You'll see a few different things come up. It may take a few minutes or seconds depending on the size. And then once it's done, it says plugin installed successfully. Now you're not done quite yet. In order to go ahead and make that plugin useful and actually do something, you're going to have to activate that plugin. So it's a two-step process just like it would be if you were deleting it. Click on activate just like that. And then once you've done that, that plugin will now be active and running on your website. Now, you may have to do some tweaking depending on the plugin, uh, but a lot of them actually have their own panels here depending on how large uh, or how small the plugin is. So let's move on over to themes. So let's go ahead and get a theme for your WordPress site. Again, a theme is how your WordPress site looks. The one that I prefer is a premium theme. Uh, it is Thesis. It's just for me, on all my sites, I use it because it's so easy to just drag and drop. But, you know, to each their own. You can use whichever one you want. In order to add a new theme, it's as easy as, you know, searching installed themes here or go up to add new, which is right here to the right of the themes panel. And then once you've done that, you'll basically be prompted to the same thing as you were under the plugins option. And then go to choose file. Go ahead and select that theme just like that and then go to open and then click the install now button just right here and it will install that theme. Now this one's already installed on mine so I do not know if it'll let me but as long as you don't have it on there just click install now and that theme will come available. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop that actually and I'm going to show you once you have a theme installed go ahead and hover over that theme and there'll be a blue button here that says activate. Warning. Once you click on activate, this is the theme. You're not stuck with it. You can always go back and change it. But, you know, if your site's getting tons of views, you don't want to be changing it all of a sudden. You at least want to make your site go down for a few a little while and do it, you know, 
edit it, tweak it, because not all themes are the same, and your site's going to look different depending. Uh, you can actually do a live preview by clicking on the live preview button right here. It'll pull up a little preview here, shows you what your site will look like uh, with that specific theme selected. Uh, so again, all you got to do, blue activate button there after you have downloaded and installed it, and you are good to go. Anyways, guys, I hope this helped you out. All the links down will be down below uh, for the, the theme that I use as far as that goes as well uh, as some other videos in this series here. I hope I'm helping you make a WordPress website. It's easy, it's cheap and you can get your name out there. You can make a difference. Go ahead and do it. There's a lot of negativity on the web. You be one of those positive forces. Thanks as always for watching my videos. It does help me out when you click that thumbs up button and like button down below. Subscribe to my channel if you like technology, if you like tutorials, if you like reviews, if you like gaming, anything like that, that's my jam. Download, subscribe. Don't download. You can't really download anything. Subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.